Our body is an incredibly complex system made up of over 37 trillion cells. To put that into perspective, there are 5,000 times more cells in your body than there are people on planet Earth. Let's think of the cell as a town. And the organelles or cellular components are the houses, factories, restaurants. They all uh, serve a function, but over time they'll get worn down and will need to be demolished and replaced. This is what happens with your mitochondria, which is a complex organelle and a, the energy center of our cell. Mitochondria gets degraded and recycled by a process called autophagy, which is so-called from the Greek words auto, for self, and phagy, to eat, because autophagy is essentially your cell eating and recycling itself in order to survive. Oh, God. Um, oh, how does autophagy work? Sorry. So your proteins, uh, a number of proteins have to interact, and a double membrane then forms. This double membrane approaches the target, so the mitochondria in our case, as if going in for a hug. But as it gets closer, it clasps shut and traps it inside a fluid-filled sac or vesicle called an autophagosome. This autophagosome then moves across the cellular fluid or cytoplasm to the lysosome, which is also a fluid-filled sac, but this time it's filled with acidic enzymes that will break down the proteins brick by brick. So the autophagosome will fuse with the lysosome, causing it and its contents to be degraded. This, essentially, is the cell's way of knocking down an old factory to make way for a new one. But getting rid of large complexes isn't all autophagy does. You see, autophagy allows us to survive starvation. Autophagosomes carry fats, uh, uh, proteins and organelles to the lysosome, which then degrades it, and the, the energy provided by this degradation allows us to continue to function even in extended periods of time when we don't receive nutrients. As humans, we tend to try to stay away from hunger, but, and I mean, if we have 37 trillion cells, that's like 37 trillion mouths to feed. So no wonder we get hungry so often. But uh, just bear in mind that we are evolutionarily equipped to withstand long periods of hunger. In fact, research counterintuitively but consistently shows that living on the point, on the edge of starvation, may actually extend our lifespan. And autophagy may be the key to delaying the aging process and initiating internal rejuvenation. Thank you.